Hello and welcome to Around the Table. Today we're going to do an unboxing of the Deluxe Edition of the World of Warcraft Miniatures game. Uh, this set uh, costs, I believe, retail $35 or $34.99 or whatever, versus the $20 basic starter set. Um, it is a much larger package. It has the look of a, you know, packaged board game, actually. Lots of neat artwork there. Great cover art, of course. Uh, and it just, it is an exciting looking package. I apologize for the uh, light there. We still have it in the shrink wrap. Okay, the lid is off, as you can see here. And now we have the first layer, and it looks like we've got a whole bunch of tokens. Yep, see alliance, things that look like terrain, horde banner up there. All right. Oh, okay, and the next thing up is the the board itself, and it it's definitely a quality board. It's not like a fold-out map or paper map or anything like that. Okay, so I've taken out the, the game board, and again, I'm very pleased at how sturdy it is. Uh, looks like we'll get plenty of play on there. And this seems to be a blank forested hex grid. And as it says on, at the top there, I'm not sure if you can see it, We've got one for Ashenvale. This side looks like we've got our uh, battleground going here. If they, they have painted on uh, spirit healers, it looks like. There's your the time tracker. I have had a chance to play this game. We played it the other day, uh, not with this particular board, mind you, and. Thus far, we're enjoying the game, but I really wanted to see what the deluxe set had that was, you know, so much worth the extra $15 versus the $20 starter. Alright, let's see what else we got in the box. Alright, poster of some sort. Let's open that puppy up. Oh, it looks like a, is it a checklist? I think it is. Bear with me here. Oh yeah, little little self promotion, I guess. Oh, and sure enough, that's a checklist. Okay. Rule book. Full color, which is nice. It's thick. Although, the game seemed rather intuitive when my friends uh, showed me it the other day. So, I'll read, I'll read through, as I often do, just to make sure we're not missing anything. But, yeah. Cool. Now we're getting to the good stuff. Uh, oh, mystery white box. Not sure what's in here. Some sort of plastic. Maybe the dice. I don't know. Faces. Oh, and dice. Alright, and it looks like I got green and blue dice, and from what I, I understand, that means that this two player deluxe set is going to have fa feature the monster faction, which is everything that the Alliance and Horde ends up fighting in the online game. And I got blue dice, so that means I've got some representatives from the Alliance. Alright, so here's my trio of baddies. They're out of their bags. I don't know how well it's picking up on the camera, but uh, I, we've also taken some still pictures. The sculpts are just really, really nice, really detailed. The fact that they're a bit bigger than the uh, more traditional minis that you would use for role-playing games and such 
really really helps because there's a there's a lot more detail that they can get in here it looks like all right here is the alliance side this dude's weapon actually looks like it's two stingrays i don't know <laughs> i never got a guy past level 50 so they probably have some epic gear that i just never get to see We've got a handy mage there and we have Gracchus, and I played with Gracchus actually and the Drenai Mage the other day, and they're both neat figs. Gracchus is a typical paladin, a little overzealous. He ends up getting killed a lot on behalf of his other figs, but you'll have that. All right, let's see what's left in the box. Ah, okay. Here is the power cards, I'm, a, I'm assuming. Yep, that explains each of the characters, and I'm not sure what this one is. I'll take a look at that. Maybe it's a loot card? Uh, oh, it's a sample, it's a promo from the TCG, which we have played on and off again here, so. Alright, that's the three monster cards, or packs, and I'm sure each one of those has its powers. I'll open those up here in a sec. And yep, here's our alliance. There's there's Gracchus's card and Alendril, Night Elf Hunter. Okay, so it is a bow, it's just a weird looking bow. And there's the mage. All right. And there's nothing really else in the box. Um, although it is nice, it looks like there's cavities here for all those tiles that I'm going to be punching out here. And there's enough room for my two factions here. So it really does, it's really self-contained. Uh, I'll probably end up getting more figs and changing up armies and such. But I really am impressed with the quality of the board. Um, the fact that I do have two sides ready to go right out of the box. Uh, the details on the sculpts again. Impressive. An excuse for new dice, which every gamer loves. So, all in all, I, I'm impressed. Uh